Today, I want to talk to you about the truth behind why there is a coin shortage in the United States of America. I've seen so many community members ask me, why is there a coin shortage? Or is there a coin shortage in America? Or something wrong with the US that we are having a coin shortage? Uh, so I've done some research and want to share that. Um, I've even had people ask me if the coin shortage had something to do with a new world order or an NWO takeover. I, I, I don't know, but let's dig into my research. So after researching on the coin shortage and why it's happening, I wanted to share my findings with you. But before I do, um, will you give this video a like so that YouTube will share it with others? Um, I think that people want to know why there's so many signs around the United States about running out of coins and money. Okay, um, also let me know in the comments, why do you think we are experiencing a coin shortage? Um, and what are some of the crazy signs that you've seen around the country? I'm here in Utah, uh, but what are you seeing? Okay, so I started noticing signs at restaurants and grocery stores about 20 days ago saying, that there was a national coin shortage and to please use exact change or pay with a credit card. At first, I didn't think much of it because I buy about 99% of everything with a credit card and not with cash or coins. However, as I started to see the signs more and more and my YouTube community of 500,000 people started asking me over and over again, what's going on with this coin shortage? Um, Many of them do shop in cash and coin, and uh, so this coin sh shortage seems very suspicious. My first thought was not New World Order. Uh, my first thought was maybe the government was purposely holding back coins in order to help with the infection rate during this lockdown period. But again, more and more people in my community kept saying something isn't right. Uh, is the country running out of money? Uh, are they trying to swap out paper money and coins for digital dollars or are we moving towards cryptocurrency? Then I noticed a change in the signs. In some areas, they not only mentioned the coin shortage, but they refused to take any coins or cash. To do business, you had to have a debit or credit card. This got scary because many people that live in poverty or even middle class America use cash and coins every single day. Many don't even own a bank account. Was this an attack on lower income families in America or was I just overthinking this? <laughs> then it got even more strict. I noticed many gas stations wouldn't let you get gas in your car unless you used a, a credit card or a debit card or had the exact change as if perfectly timing <laughs> Filling your car with gas to a certain dollar amount were easy. Again, more and more people in the community were asking for information. At this time, I noticed businesses saying, we will buy your change from you. Like they wanted us to bring in change because they couldn't get it from the bank. So then I started thinking, what the heck? Are banks running out of coins and money as well? I began to wonder, are they trying to force us into a cashless society? And why is it that essential businesses are being forced to now do business without coins or the ability to help their customers? <laughs> why is it that keeping enough currency and coins in the economy is not seen as essential? I mean, I know that money is dirty and can carry germs, but most of the country needs to use cash and coin every single day. From everything I am reading, the Federal Reserve and the coin minting facilities across the country, their story is that these facilities needed to shut down just like other businesses because of the virus. They are saying there is no money issue, they are saying that they aren't trying to push digital currency on us. They are saying that people just need to be patient while they get the minting machines going again. But something seems suspicious. Um, doesn't it seem strange that facilities mostly run by machines would need to close down? Especially when so much of the economy, businesses, and American citizens rely on coins and cash. Has, 
has, has not having coins made your life harder? Let me know in the comments. Uh, has transacting business with companies, family, friends, has that been harder? And if you follow my channel and you own a business, has this coin shortage negatively affected your business? Please let me know in the comments. It seems doing business is hard enough nowadays uh, without having to worry about will you have enough change to help your customer or will your customer have enough change to buy your goods and services? Is a cashless society the way to go? Or does that give the government too much knowledge of our spending habits? Let me know what you think in the comments. Again, uh, from what I'm reading without going into too many conspiracy theories, they are saying that these minting facilities just need to get back up and running once the COVID situation is handled and it will eliminate the coin shortage. Hey, I hope you found this video helpful. If there's anything else you want me to research, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, remember that you are amazing, and I'll see you on the next video.